What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cozy Jones back again with another video and today we're going to be talking about R. Kelly and my thoughts on the whole matter but this whole Lifetime docuseries that came out a couple days ago. Quite frankly, I don't feel no kind of way about it and I'm going to tell you why because everything that came out in the documentary we already knew like who doesn't know about these things about R. Kelly. The most surprising thing isn't that he did these things because we've known these things, at least I've known these things. The more surprising thing is the backlash and the vitriol he's receiving now on social media and in the public eye. That's what's most alarming about it. You know, you have people like Chance the Rapper talking about it was a mistake to make music with R. Kelly. But you didn't know about these things that he was alleged to do or he admitted to do prior to making music with him. You didn't know these things, bro? You know what I'm saying? Just like a week ago, a week and a half ago, or two weeks ago, people were talking about who was the real king of R&B. And everybody unanimously said that it was R. Kelly. Now, some of his contemporaries like Tank, Neo, you even got guys acting like Columbus Short, of all people, who was alleged to be beating his wife to a pulp. You know? Now he's not your king of R&B anymore. Why? Because you watched the docuseries that said that, oh, he did these things? But we knew this already. So what changed? What happened? See, I don't like this virtue signaling in Hollywood, man. I don't like it at all because it's, it's very, it comes across as very disingenuous. To me, at least. Very, very disingenuous. Obviously, the elephant in the room is R. Kelly. We know he did these things. You know what I'm saying? I don't need him to take a lie detector test or DNA test to prove that he did these things. The writing is on the wall, folks. If you haven't seen that sex tape when it released... I'm not saying go watch it, but God damn it, go watch it. But let's, the elephant in the room is him, obviously, but I have issues with three parties in particular, excluding R. Kelly. Number one is Aaliyah herself. Now, I know what you're thinking. How could you blame Aaliyah of all people? She was only 15. She, you know, why would you do that? She, you can't talk ill of the dead. First of all, I'm not speaking ill of anybody, at least not yet. Second of all, Aaliyah was 15 when she got married to this guy. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I was 15, the last thing on my mind was marriage. I wasn't thinking about nothing like that. You know what I'm thinking about at 15? Playing video games and chasing girls around. Not literally speaking, you know, but you know. I was into girls at 15 and video games. Now, they say girls mature faster than guys, so... If, if that's the case, and she's thinking about marriage at 15, then something's wrong with her, psychologically. So something had to be wrong with her, you know? Now, granted, I was a fan of her music. I think she had talent, immense talent. But we got to be real. We got to separate the artistry from the actual person at this particular point. Because if we're going to sit here and condemn R. Kelly for what he did, we also have to put her on the hot seat. On the hot seat. You know what I'm saying? Because I doubt he forced her hand into marriage. I don't think that's how it went down. I think she was also willing to do go, you know, go along with it. Granted, like there's rumors out there saying that oh she might have been pregnant by him. That's why he led with the uh, pregnancy. I mean the uh, marriage. I don't know how true that is, but I wouldn't put anything past that. I really wouldn't. My number two issue is with her parents. Aaliyah's parents, that is. In the docu series, you sit there, you sit there, and you said that you've always been a part of her life. How could that be so? And she's being engaged and married to someone at the age of 15. Where were you when all this was going on? This marriage is not some facade or some lie. This actual documented paperwork. So we know this thing happened. We just don't know why. Ask her parents or parents. How could you not know that your 15-year-old daughter is engaged or married to a 27, 28-year-old man at the time? How could you not know this? What are you thinking about? I don't know, man. The funny thing, we like to clown white people about white people like kissing their cousins and molesting other people. This thing run, apparently runs rampant in the black community too as well. This is a disease. You guys are sick in the head, man. What is going on? Some parents she had, huh? Some parents. Inexcusable. And number three, my issue, my third issue is with 
the parents of all the other victims that claimed that R. Kelly did something or had a hand in their disappearance or what have you. It's all of them. What are you doing as parents to raise your, your daughters to feel like they have to depend on this guy who's a well-known pedophile? What are you guys doing? What's up? I mean, I don't know, man. I got a daughter, man. The, the, the thought of her growing up at 13, 14, and some guy putting his hands on her. I will kill that man. With my bare hands. I will kill him. I will kill him. I will kill him. Where are these fathers at, man? Our children are lost in this black community, man. We need our fathers, bro. Listen to the kids, bro. I don't get it. I don't get it. I, do, I especially don't like how all these celebrities now in Hollywood are coming out speaking ill of this man. You know, the one thing, as, dis, as disgusting as R. Kelly is, man, I just hope he doesn't go out and kill himself. Because he feels like the whole world is turning their back against him. Because y'all should expect that. That's, that's, that's what usually happens. That he's, 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 you know, someone who everybody who adored at one point, the world turned their back on him. He should, he should be on suicide watch, honestly. But I don't like how everybody who seemingly gave him a pass for all these years, now all of a sudden they see a docu-series. Oh my God, I can't believe he did this. How could he, R. Kelly? No! But y'all, all of y'all knew this. All of you knew this. It's very equivalent to the whole Harvey Weinstein issue in Hollywood. All of y'all knew he was molesting and raping women. Nobody said anything because he had power in Hollywood. Oprah knew. Oprah was kissing on his man. She didn't say nothing. I don't know about y'all, man. This music industry in America, especially in America, this Hollywood, it's a fucking cesspool, man. It's disgusting. Filled with pedophilia, rapists, child molesters. And I'll rest on this. I have an honorable mention, a fourth party in this whole thing. R. Kelly's ex-wife. I don't know that motherfucker's name. It's really not important. All you need to know is that She's very, very, very disingenuous. Very phony. Fake. On the docuseries, this woman was on there crying as if she had no clue or she didn't have the wherewithal that her husband was behaving in such a manner that was inexcusable, indefensible. She's on the docuseries crying her eyes out. And then she made a post riding in a car listening to her ex-husband's one of his songs with a new man. What is going on, man? That's not right. You niggas make me sick, man. I'm out.